Now to a crime alert. Robbed twice in less than a month. A small pharmacy is the target of an armed man who is looking to get away with opioids. Our tenders reporter Bree Steffen is live at Cabrillo Lo uh, Point Loma Cabrillo Drugstore, where police are now investigating if the same man is responsible for multiple robberies. Bree. That's right, Steve. And now the store has put up these signs that say they no longer have certain prescription drugs at this location. Meanwhile, the man who pulled a gun and waved it in their faces to get those pills is still on the loose. My mind first thing went to like, what if I was in there with my daughter? What would I have done? This is the moment a man pulls a gun in Point Loma Cabrillo drugstore, demanding pills like hydrocodone and oxycodone. He keeps his face covered while he gets his bag of drugs and escapes out the back. I wish I could tell you this was the first time this small store has been robbed. So I would also think about what that's like to be held up twice. But it's the second robbery in less than a month. Melissa Munster was parked right in front when she saw the robber go in this past Friday. He had a scarf on his head and was coughing, had like this fake cough that he was doing. Flashback to January 12th, the day of the first robbery. You can see the suspect go use the bathroom where he pulls out his gun before he goes inside. Then it's the same thing, pointing the gun, demanding pills before locking the employees in the bathroom and making his getaway. Tonight, police are investigating if the same man is responsible for both robberies. People who live in this community believe it's up to them to help this small business heal. To think that that's who's getting hit, um, it just makes me want to support them even more and see what we can do as a community to protect them. And we have more in-depth information on both of those robberies on our website, 10news.com. If you have any information on who's doing this, call police. Reporting live in Point Loma, Bree Steffen, 10 News. Bree, thank you.